Dynamic bowling is a psychological conditioning program for the bowler who owns or has access to properly fitted equipment and has been instructed in the fundamentals of correct play by a qualified instructor or professional. It is not within the scope of this recording to teach you anything about the game that you do not already know. Rather, dynamic bowling is designed to condition you to play your game in a relaxed, confident, concentrated, and well-coordinated manner. Professional bowlers agree that consistent high scoring involves four basic requisites. The first requisite is proper equipment, including comfortable and loose-fitted clothing, a correctly fitted pair of bowling shoes, and a properly fitted bowling ball, and the serious bowler is advised to have his own ball fitted to his own individual requirements. The second requisite is a thorough knowledge of the fundamentals and techniques of correct play as taught by a qualified instructor or professional. The third requisite is the ability to control tensions under pressure and to consistently play in a relaxed, confident, concentrated, and well-coordinated manner. The fourth requisite is practice, and you alone can determine the amount and frequency of practice necessary to enable you to play at the maximum of your potential. Dynamic bowling employs auto-suggestion to assist the bowler in controlling his physical, emotional, and mental performance through the use of key words to which he is conditioned. To understand how auto-suggestion works, it is important to recognize that all of us have been conditioned to respond automatically to certain key words in our vocabulary. The word lemon may be taken as an example. For most people, the word lemon calls up a mental picture of a lemon, which in turn activates the salivary glands, causing the mouth to water. In this example, the key word lemon produces both a mental and a physical response without any conscious effort on the part of the listener. Dynamic bowling employs two key words which serve as signals to automatically determine the dominant attitude and actions called for by the various shots encountered during your game. No effort should be made to consciously remember what the key words stand for. Merely repeating to yourself the right key word at the proper time is all that is required. There is one other fact that should be mentioned. The techniques and repetitive word patterns of this recording have been selected for and are directed to your subconscious rather than to your conscious mind. Accordingly, you are advised to listen casually rather than concentrate forcefully upon the material contained herein. In fact, an ideal time to listen to this recording is at night as you are drifting to sleep. And the reverse side of this record has been designed for this purpose. As in any type of conditioning, repetition is important, and listening to the record occasionally is recommended after the first seven days of daily listening. Outside of slight differences in the speed of lanes, there are no variables in the game of bowling. The same ball, delivered in the same manner, on the same lane, at the same speed, will always travel the same path and arrive at the same point of impact. Therefore, the primary variables are with the bowler himself. The successful bowler uses the same ball for every delivery, and if he does not own his own ball, he carefully notes the numbers on the ball best suited to his own requirements. The successful bowler is dressed comfortably in loose-fitting clothes and wears properly fitted bowling shoes. He makes the game fun, not work. He is natural, not forced. He is confident that if he takes the proper stance, aims correctly, and is coordinated in his delivery, the ball will invariably strike the target with sufficient impact to knock down the pins. He grooves his swing so that all variables are eliminated, 